Hey, what's going on? Dr. Nigel Glasscock here, talking about trust, talking about band trust, creating a good culture within a band. A little backstory, maybe we talked about this on the show, and I want to thank Ryan at Intersection Records for having me on yet again. Um, subscribe to his channel. We've talked a little bit on previous shows about band therapy, about my career. I was in a rock band, a famous rock band that dominated uh, really the world uh, from about 78 to about 1990, at which point I got into medicine really after grunge kind of eliminated my career. And I've been in assisting uh, music stars and rock stars primarily with with modern medicine and counseling ever since. Let's talk about creating band trust, the 10 things that you can do as a band leader or as just a band mate. Let's start with listen first. Listening. Listening to your band members. Listen before you speak. Understand problems, okay? Don't assume that you know what's going on. Find out what's important to your bandmates. Listen with your ears, listen with your heart, and listen with your mind. Uh, checking that off. Listen to your bandmates and find out problems early. Show loyalty, number nine. Keep band secrets. Keep your bandmates secrets. Keep any personal things they tell you secret. Don't badmouth your bandmates in public. Don't uh, don't uh, put words in your bandmates mouth. Uh, don't disclose things that are told in confidence. Uh, speak about your bandmates as if they were present. And again, don't talk behind their backs about stuff that they that they know about. Writing wrongs, number eight. Own up if you've done something wrong. Don't cover it up. Uh, you know, make wrongs right. Demonstrate some humility, okay? You've screwed up. Don't make excuses for a blown part in a song live, for showing up where you don't know what you're doing at practice. Uh, don't let pride F with you and be accountable and apologize, make rights wrong. Number seven, clarify band expectations. Uh, what are band expectations? Define what they are, disclose what they are, reveal what your band's expectations are. Are your expectations to be a live performing act? Are you just a garage band? Define what the expectations of the band are. If you're a a, a, a touring act or a, a, a weekend warrior gig act. Know what you, you're supposed to do. Um, discuss them. Modify them if necessary. Renegotiate expectations as, as your band changes through time. Okay? You might have to modify something. You might go from a garage band to a band that plays parties to a band that's getting paid to play live. Understand the expectations. Don't violate them. Don't assume that expectations are understood. Some guys don't know. Not everybody knows what the expectation is. Talk about them, understand them, define them. Uh, confront reality. What is reality? It's similar to expectations. Um, take an issue on head on. Uh, even undiscussable uh, reality. Get there and deal with that problem before it becomes a big problem. You got a little small thing about what's going on in the band. That thing could turn into a huge problem if you don't talk about it. Uh, what are the limitations of you as a musician? What is reality as a bass player, as a guitar player, as a singer? You know, should the singer be singing songs uh, that are out of his range? Should a guitar player attempt a solo live in front of people that's really out of his wheelhouse? Understand reality. Uh, don't dream too big. You know, see the forest through the trees. Understand what you don't know. Okay, there's nothing worse than a musician that doesn't know what he doesn't know. Doesn't know that he's letting his bandmates down. Doesn't know that he doesn't know the material well enough. Doesn't know that he doesn't know the part well enough. 
Moving on, number five, deliver results. Establish a track record of delivering results so that your bandmates can trust you because you're going to deliver, which means you want to deliver too. Make it happen every time. Don't overpromise and underdeliver. Hey, I got this. I'm going to be good. And then you show up with crib notes all over the floor because you don't know your parts. And while you're looking at your crib notes, you're supposed to be singing backup and you've under delivered again. Don't make excuses when you screw up. You know, don't say I'm too busy. I got too much stuff going on. If you're too busy, you know, turn the keys over. Turn the keys over to your guitar or your lead vocal spot or your drums and we'll find somebody else that can deliver the results. Play your best of your ability at all times. Number four on earning trust from your bandmates. Practice accountability. Similar to some of these other things, expectations. First, hold yourself accountable. I am going to hold myself accountable to do everything I can to be the best bandmate and to be the best player in my band. You always, you always really want to be the worst player in your band because you want to strive to be better and you want those other guys to be great. Hold yourself accountable. Then hold others. Don't blame others. But hold them accountable. Do your job and then hold others. Practice what you preach and don't let your bandmates or teammates down. It's like going to the football game and the quarterback doesn't know the plays. Or going to the football game and the center doesn't know when to snap it because he wasn't listening in the huddle. Or the basketball guard doesn't show up to practice and then he wants to be the you know an integral part of the team. Number three, keep commitments. Say what you're going to do and do it. Show up to practice. Show up early. Show up to gigs. Move gear. Be excellent. Be on time always and no excuses early and often. Demand it of yourself. Make keeping commitments the symbol of your honor. The symbol of your honor. You can count on me. Because I am dedicated to myself and you. And I'm going to make you better. And you're going to make me better. Because we're all on the same team here. Two, talk straight with your bandmates. Don't beat around the bush. Be honest. Even if it hurts. And when you love your band of brothers, it is going to hurt sometimes. Some of these things that you got to say are going to hurt. Let people know where you stand, where your integrity is. Demonstrate that integrity. And then they'll want to give you their integrity. They'll want to show you because you are showing it to them. Don't leave false impressions. And sometimes the truth hurts. You know, again, talk straight. Glaring at somebody is not going to communicate anything. Giving somebody the silent treatment is not going to communicate anything. And last, and maybe most important, get better every single day. Continuous improvement. Hone your craft. Take your craft seriously. And I'm talking about, I'm not talking about jamming in the basement once a month. I'm talking about bands that make money, bands that earn money, bands that go out there. Uh, learn more about your craft and maybe even other instruments so that you can help said keyboard player out with a part. You can help the bass player find a riff. You know your instrument so well that you've also kind of gotten into that other territory in case somebody gets hurt or sick. Um, better harmonies. Do more, more backup singing. Don't consider yourself a finished product or above reproach. Don't think that you're so damn good that you can't take self-criticism or criticism from your bandmates. Uh, you never have it fully. You're never a finished product. Even the greatest musicians on earth. You know, I, I, I did a session with John Fogarty. He says, I'm... 
I want to continue to get better. I said, John, you're 75. He said, I want to get better. There's still things that I don't know how to do. The best musicians that I've ever talked to and come up with uh, uh, in front of or talked to in therapy sessions are always searching, searching for improvement. And the worst musicians think they got it and think they know everything. The best are always searching to get better. These are my uh, concepts on being a trusting bandmate and being a good bandmate. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I want to thank Ryan again. Peace out and be good to each other. See you next time.